This is Ryan Thompson, Assistant AD for Athletic Communications here at Davenport. Today I have the privilege of being joined by women's basketball sophomore Emily Lang. Emily, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Wonderful. Hey, you're from Wilton, Iowa, which is a small town between Iowa City and Davenport. What was growing up there like for you? Yeah, so yeah, it's a real small town, uh, you know, just um, there's not much to do, but we spent a lot of time outside, you know. Um, a lot of sports, you know, we were all involved in, you know, most of the sports that were available, and that's really what we spent most of our time on. Now, did you play other sports other than basketball in high school? I did. My freshman year, I played volleyball, softball, and I ran track, but once I hit, like, sophomore year, I just focused on basketball and volleyball. Sure. You had a really good weekend last time out against Purdue Northwest. Career high 26 points on Friday, 17 points on Saturday. You know, what changed to allow you to have that big jump in scoring? Well, I, we came back uh, this past week and started focusing on things, you know, coming back from uh, Wayne State, just knowing what we need to do and get done. And, you know, we've been focusing on going more inside out, and that opens up the lane a lot more. And we started hitting threes, so they have to contest that, and that has led to a lot of success inside. You know, you've been asked to contribute more minutes in production on the court this year. You know, what have you done to prepare for that increase both on and off the court? Just, you know, taking what the coaches have, their advice, their game plans, focusing on what they need from me and what I can do to contribute, even if it's just rebounding, boxing out, playing defense. It doesn't always have to come from the scoring point of view of basketball. Sure. You know, you guys have played six games so far this year. You know, what are your thoughts about how the season is going so far? It's pretty good. Uh, we didn't get to quite the start we had a wish for, but we have really, you know, come together. And like I said, we have reevaluated what we need to focus on and get better at and, uh, you know, just focus on our weaknesses and make them strengths. You know, one of the things that you've learned from your sophomore, or excuse me, one of the things that you learned from freshman year to sophomore year, what would be something that you pinpoint as, wow, this is something I've really picked up on? Well, the change of pace was from uh, senior year of high school to freshman year of college was probably the biggest thing. So now that I'm comfortable with that, I just have need to focus on gaining my confidence back and you know, knowing that I can, I can do things that I put my mind to and you know, leaning on my coaches and teammates for help. You know, the last question is, you guys have been doing GLIAC schedule where you play Friday, Saturday, or back-to-back -back nights, which is kind of on, it's something you guys haven't done before, at least in the GLIAC. So what's it been like to do that and play back-to-back -back nights? It seems like you guys really, on that second game, when you've picked up your two wins, it's been on that day. Right. Uh, you see, it was, it was kind of a tough change, you know, not having that recovery day or even like the simple walkthroughs we were able to have in the, in the mornings, but... I feel like, you know, it's all mindset and, like I said, confidence and uh, doing what we need to do to recover and just having that mindset to come in and be strong every night. Thanks for joining me and good luck tonight against Grand Valley State. Thank you. I appreciate it.